Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Once again, it's tea time, but more importantly, it is speed painting time, right? We're not doing photography today, we're doing art, right? Something creative in the studio. Once again, excuse my voice, I'm kind of under the weather a little bit, but it's time to get a little bit of drawing done, a little bit of painting, all right? Get that creative juices moving for 2018. Um, so today, as you can see back here, that is Jack, right? I'm going to be painting Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I absolutely love the movie. I love Sally. I love Jack. I love the entire movie um, in total. I think, you know, it just was awesome. Tim Burton always does great stuff. But anyways, so what got me to do this specific painting is a girl named Christy Bowser, and I thank her for it. She commented on the Harlequin um, painting that I did, speed painting, and she was actually the random winner of that signed copy of the painting that I did. And probably by now, she probably should be receiving it, hopefully. Um, but anyways, she asked that I did Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas, and I think I'm going to delve into that today. Now, what I'm going to do a little bit differently is I'm going to try to make it, instead of it's like a movie shot, I want to make it more like an old cell, like the old celluloid sheets, right? Where you have like the background and then you have the animated figure in the front and you know you can move that animated figure. I think they'd look kind of cool, right? So that's what I'm going to go for. Don't know if I'm going to get there, but that's what I'm going to do today and I'm going to kind of jump right into it. What I'm going to do though is, just like I did with Harlequin, is if you're watching this, in the comment area below, just say hello. Um, maybe throw me a request, tell me what you want to see me draw. If it's something about photography, ask me any questions that you have on photography. I've been doing photography for 20 plus years. I've been doing art for as long. So any questions you have, put them in there. And like I said, if you have any suggestions for future paintings, please stick them in there and I'll put them in my, my list. And if it's something that just calls to me, like Sally did here, I am going to do that. So what I did is, Actually, what my family did was, is during Christmas time, they'd pick me up Sally, right? You love that? Look at that. I'm going to end up sticking that like behind me, probably up there or something. So I use this kind of for reference, just to kind of get an idea of where things are and her shape and form and stuff. Sometimes I like three-dimensional um, objects to paint from because you can get an understanding on where things are and then you can kind of rotate them to whatever angle you want. So even if you use, you know, some type of material that you find um, for reference online, any type of 3D object that you can use just makes it a lot easier to get those angles just right. So it's kind of like a quick tip. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw on my little glove here, which I know probably will look weird. Um, and I'm gonna grab my Apple Pencil, which you know, I'm using the iPad Pro now. There's the Apple Pencil, I love this thing, I love this thing. And I got my 12.9 inch iPad Pro. I'm gonna jump in this and we're gonna get right down to it. So this is gonna go pretty quick. I'm gonna try to probably like narrate over all this painting that I do after the fact, but let's get started. So what I normally do is I'll start out with sizing, proportions, where things lay in the frame. So I'll look at, for example, my object, I'll get it to the right angle and how I want it to be set. And I want to take a look at how big the head is compared to the body and whatnot. So I'll start drawing in just like some basic lines on how big things are going to be, where the head's going to be, where's the neck going to be, shoulders, you know, how big things are going to be, what are the proportions. And that's what's really, really important is that beginning sketch where things are going to lay in the frame because that's where everything builds from. And once we get that done, then I'll start refining stuff and getting it more detailed. And I'll start getting rid of any of the excess lines that we don't need.
So that's it guys, the painting is done. It took a couple of hours, but I think it came out really nice. It has that type of look where, you know, Sally's here in the front and almost the background is completely separate and you could kind of move her around, almost like an old school cell would look like. And that's kind of what I'm going for here. So if you look in there really nice and detailed, you can see just how incredibly detailed you can get with this Apple iPad Pro here. This thing is just absolutely amazing with this pencil. It's just unbelievable. I can even throw in some textures as you can see here in the actual outfit itself. You know, really nice shading and whatnot can be done really softly. I really like this iPad Pro a lot and it's just allowing me to be able to do my art and even if I'm just sitting around on a cold day here in Florida, which we normally don't have, it's literally 39 degrees outside right now, it's never like that. So anyways, that's why I'm kind of bundled up. So what I'm going to do guys is exactly what I did with the Harlequin painting that I did. I'm going to make a print and I'm going to sign it and I'm going to send it to one of you. That's all you have to do to be entered to win is just simply put a comment below. That's it. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see more of, maybe a suggestion for a future speed painting. And be subscribed. That's all that you have to do, nothing else. So. Once again, as always, if you enjoy my content, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you can get all of my content when it becomes available. And please share these videos, share my vlog with other friends, family, colleagues, anyone that you think might like the videos, all right? Please share with your community. And finally, and finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find a lot of photography tools that I've invented for myself and you. Please pick something up and support me. That's it guys. I'm out of here. I'm going to take Sally and head out. We'll see you soon. Take care.